Hello everyone. Welcome back to Lead Coding. On this channel we discuss problems which are frequently asked in programming interviews. Today we are here with a very interesting graph problem. The name of the problem is flower planting with no adjacent. Let us see what the problem statement is. So we have n gardens labeled from 1 to n. In each garden you want to plant one of the four type of flowers. Now there are paths given. The path i is x, y which denotes that there is a bi-directional path from the garden x to the garden y. Also there is no garden that has more than three paths that is coming or leaving to it. So basically the total degree of a particular uh, garden is not more than three. Your task is to choose a flower type for each garden such that for any two gardens connected by a, a path they have different type of flowers. And we have to return such answer. and it is also given that it is guaranteed that the answer exists. Now let us see the same through an example. So in this example, these are the paths which are given to us and there are four gardens in total. So let us try to construct a graph for this. So there's a node 1, 2, 3 and 4. These are the four gardens which, which acts as the node of the graph. Now these are the paths which are given to us. These are bi-directional paths. So we just have to connect 1 with 2, then 2 with 3, 3 with 4, 4 with 1, 1 with 3, and 2 with 4. So this is the graph that we get. Now we are going to parallelly create our graph. How we are creating our graph? we will see we are going to use a map of type integer and a vector of int so map of int comma vector of int this is going to be our graph now we will go to each path and connect them we are going to connect the first with the second As these are bidirectional, we have to do the reverse connection as well. Now we are done with the graph. Now what is the next step? Now we need to color these and we will have to check that which color is available for each of these nodes. Let us say that this is our answer and these are the colors for each type of node. Now first we will go to the first node that we have to color which is the node number 1 and we will we will visit each of its child. So we will see that which which all are the colors that are already used by the, the children of this particular node. So we are available with 1, 2, 3 and 4. These are the four colors which are available to the particular node and we are going to visit each of its children and then see that among these available colors which are already used so we will not be able to use that particular color in the first case none of these color is used by the children the children are 2 3 and 4 and none of these colors are being used by either of them so we can assign the color number 1 to the node number 1 so color 1 is already assigned next we will go to the node number 2 and we will do the same process we will visit each of its children and see which color are already used so the available colors are 1 2 3 4 and among these the used up are only one one is used by the node number one so one is not available anymore so we will have to choose from either of these so we can go with the color 2 now color 2 is assigned to the node number 2 next is the node number 3 and the available colors are 1, 2, 3 and 4. If we visit the children of 3, the colors which get eliminated from this available list of colors are color number 1 and color number 2 because these are already being used by the node 1 and 2 respectively. So to the node number 3 we can assign the color 3. So color 3 is assigned to the node number 3. 
and similarly we can assign the color 4 to the node number 4 so initially for each of these nodes we will have a set of 4 colors 1, 2, 3 and 4 which is available and if we visit the children of that node we will keep eliminating those colors which are already in use by the children of this node and whichever color is left among those leftover colors we can choose one of the color so that is how we are going to proceed with this and let us see how we can do this we are visiting from i is equals to 1 i is, is smaller than is smaller than equals to n i plus plus so this is the these are the nodes that we have to visit and initially we will have all the colors available to us vector of int color this is going to give us all of the colors so basically there are four colors and that is why I'm creating a vector of size 5 because then I will have indexing from 0 to 4 so I can ignore 0 and use the colors from 1 to 4 and initially each of them is available so I will mark them with 0 as each of them is available now I will go and visit each of the children of the ith node so these are the children of the ith node and the colors which are already in use by these children I am going to eliminate those colors from the color vector let me create our answer as well this is going to be of size n and in this I'm going to store the color which is uh, used by this node so for the uh, node number 1 I'm going to use the index 0 for the node number 2 I'm going to use the index 1 that is why I'm only creating the answer of size n so answer of a minus 1 will give us the color which is used by the child number a and this color we are going to eliminate from the list of available colors finally we will see which color is left so int j is equals to 1 that is the color number 1 j is smaller than equals to 4 j plus plus if the color number j is equals to 0 if it is still 0 that is it is still not used then we can use it for the node number i answer of i minus 1 because because of the indexing is going to be this color and we can break let me try to print okay let me try to run directly we didn't return the answer So it is giving correct answer for this test case. So this is the correct solution for this problem. Now if we talk about the space and the time complexity. So eventually in order to return the answer we are using big O of n extra space. If we eliminate that then also we are creating the graph even if we eliminate that one then this solution will become a constant space solution apart from that the time complexity of the solution is big O of number of edges because eventually we are visiting each of these each of the children of for a particular node so the time complexity will become big O of n square in the worst case if there are n square edges so I don't think we can do better than that. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Please share it with your friends. So if you have any doubts and if you want to give any suggestions from my future videos, please leave a comment.